Local teachers tell us they are overworked and flat out exhausted. They are feeling the impact of the challenges brought on by the pandemic. Today, a new study from the National Education Association says more than half want to call it quits. 25 News reporter Drell Baker has more. Being a teacher is no easy feat, especially with the challenges educators face during the pandemic. I think that the people on the outside looking in don't realize how much teachers and support staff give up every day to go into these schools and educate and teach students. Rachel Barrage of the Colleen Educators Association says teachers and staff are exhausted. After nearly two years of dealing with staff shortages, combined classes with 30 or more kids, and then virtual learning. We risk our lives, we risk our health, and then we go home and take whatever is in that, or in that facility back home to our family. We risk that every day. A new survey from the National Education Association says 55% of their 3 million members are ready to leave the classroom or quit earlier than planned. Some teachers decide that they want to go, you know, do, do something else, but not to the level that it is now and not to the level that it is across the U.S. Dr. Elizabeth Casey, who trains new school teachers at Texas A&M University Central Texas, says it's not just burnout. Many teachers are simply pursuing early retirement. It's like a perfect storm all happening. So the baby boomers, you know, those those uh, teachers who are able to retire and we're planning on retiring in under normal times as they retire and as COVID hits, more new teachers are leaving. Dr. Casey says normally around half the new teachers across the country quit teaching in one to three years, never to return. She says there are also teachers that are leaving because of spread of COVID, personal reasons, and mental health. In Bell County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News. All right, Jarrell. Well, it's just not teachers saying I'm done. More Americans said that to their bosses last year than ever before. According to the Bureau of Labor, 4.3 million Americans quit their jobs in December. That's even a huge number, and it's down from November's record of 4.5 million. It's left employers with close to 11 million vacancies right now across the country.